<laughs> What's good, everybody? Listen, man, we are back on Black Hollywood with your girl, Quinn Elijah. And listen, we have a super dope, dope, talented man in the building today with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. <laughs> hey, it's the one and only, Scott R. Rex, man. We, we out here, ATL. Scott R. Rex. Yeah, All the way into, in the ATL because Scott R. Rex, where you from? L.A. LA. So, how how you liking the A town? Um, you know, I love it. It's culture out here. You know, everybody. A lot of culture, a right? The West Side. Yeah, it's a lot of culture. <laughs> it's a lot of culture, Jack. It's every everyone's moving accordingly. Um, it's a good vibe. It's different than LA. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Cause uh, y'all like. What bougie? What you gonna say? I'm not gonna say bougie, but I feel like y'all just in a new era or some shit. Like, excuse me. Yeah, y'all 2012. Y'all a little bit, we no, what, wait a minute. <laughs> now, how you gonna put us way in 2012? Uh, 2012, Jack. Now, I, I, just I heard was gonna give y'all five years ahead of us, but okay. 2000, look. 2012, Jack. I was not like 2012. Well, you know, everything on the West is like there's like different laws that's passed in the West that's not passed out here. So you know. that's why you put us back there. Yeah. Is this your first time coming to Atlanta? I've been when I was uh, 23 during the Hip Hop Awards. Okay, so yeah. once. One been? time. It was okay. in and out. It was quick. Yeah, it, it was, was a quick. quickie. Yeah, was so quick. how long have you been in the city? Um, we came in Friday. Friday. Yeah, I've been out here for a couple of days. Right. And you guys are here to cast new talent? New talent for a new movie called What Are You Afraid Of? Yeah. What Are You Afraid Of? Yeah, what Are You Afraid Of? I don't know. I don't know. That Tell sounds me. creepy. That's it a thriller, is. right? It's a thriller. Yeah, it's a horror film. Uh -huh. Dope. Dope. Yeah. I'm jealous. Because y'all, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, let the people know, like, you're going to be um, doing the auditions when? Uh, so the auditions is Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. at the uh, That's 12. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Um, and then Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, 5 to 8 p.m. So how does that work? If y'all cast someone in Atlanta, you go, um, you flying them out? They getting flewed out? You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. If they, it, well, <laughs> y'all, yeah, I'm only copying Miami. I don't, you know. You yeah, know. If they getting flown out if they're, you know, not if we don't find them locally. You know, everyone that's coming in town. It's a lot of people coming out of out of state. Yeah. People from uh, Florida flying out, New York, UK, Canada. A lot of people's coming in to, to audition for the role. I mean, you know, oh. they seen they seen what Sky Direct can produce. And I think, you know, people want to be movie stars. And they say, hey, you know, this guy's got some quality content. I want to be in Quality movie. content, yeah, if quality. I must say so myself. Okay. Yeah, preach. Yeah. 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 You got yeah. some good stuff? You have some good stuff. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect it to be as good. Yeah. But really, really, really nice quality mm -hmm. work. Real director. We talking to a real director here. And look, he got like some majors in his films already. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. My man uh, Fizz from uh, B2K. We had I saw that. a long relationship since uh, I, I did the Life After B2K when they first broke up. Okay. So I was a guy that filmed that reality show back in the days. And, you know, we established our relationship. So when I had this script, I told him about it. And he was like, oh, yeah, I got you. Dope, yeah. dope. Mm -hmm. You kind of like when I, I mean, y'all kind of not resemble each other, but y'all look like y'all might be. I mean, family. listen, I man. I, listen, <laughs> you know how you can hang out with someone, you kind of start to look like sisters. I have a like, good, you know I have a saying? best friend. I have a good friend, yeah. and everyone says that we can go for like sisters. Sisters, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, that just kind of formed with the years. You know, growing up with them, that's just. I mean, I was sixteen when I met them, so dope. I was dope. like the fifth, uh, nine official member of the group. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Not the fifth. <laughs> non official. Oh yeah. Lord. Uh running around behind it behind them filming them. You behind was, the scenes getting, was, getting uh, the yeah, love. Too. I was getting the love too. Yeah, they was Because they was too. getting you mixed up with fans. Hey, that's why. Hey, I don't know this. You probably lied. I had like more of a, <laughs> a J Bug effect than Fizz, but you know. No. Yeah, them boys is cool though. They boys is solid solid behind the scenes. They handle their business. They about their business. They got, they're real talented too. Yeah. I mean obviously. Yeah, that was a popular group. Like, I was rocking with them, like, for real, for real. Who was your favorite? Uh, probably J Book. J Book, yeah. I think. You like Book? Yeah. It's been a long time ago. Book I can't remember. Though. I like Omarion, too. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, because he he messing it up for everybody. You, you know, say it's he just is? so much behind the scenes. It's like, oh my gosh, you got to put that on iHeartRadio? He messed uh, it up. Man, I, I, I'm going to take that back. <laughs> I'm going to take that. Can we take that out? Because no, I don't want to be a part no. of that situation. No, he don't mean it like that. Yeah, I don't mean it like that. We, yeah. You don't want to elaborate. I don't want to elaborate. We're we we, we moving right along. We can move right along. <laughs> so, the movie. Um, So, the movie is about five teenagers who are uh, traveling into the, cab, into the woods for a weekend trip during high school, uh, during Halloween. And for the teenagers, there's minorities and there's one white girl and they get stopped by this off uh, this officer and this officer is asking them questions and he lets them go but he ends up becoming the killer that kills the four minorities and lets the white girl live 
and yeah. let the, the white girl go live at the end yeah yeah uh, well, i mean there's some twist to the story i ain't gonna give too much but yeah you can't give too much yeah it's a little political a little bit a little bit a yeah. little bit a little bit dope little bit. dope it sounds so interesting so um if someone like gets the role like in atlanta uh-huh. what do they just they're gonna be in la for the, for the shooting no of the movie? we're filming out here we're you filming, filming in, in atlanta Georgia. Too? Yeah, we filming out here. This is the reason why we out here. Um, it's oh. to, yeah, it's a location scout. Uh, me and the whole crew is out here. We location scout and looking for the right locations. And we, we're going to be filming October 10th through the 22nd in Georgia. So Dope. It's going to be my So it's a, it's a time frame on it. Uh, yeah. We on got the it. filming project. <laughs> yeah. So what happens? Do you, uh, do you, have you ever had where you had to go outside of the frame? time frame uh you yeah yeah, yeah. it happens it happens yeah yeah, yeah. you got to give yourself at least three days on top of the actual uh principal date yeah it happens sometimes you got pickup dates every every movie has pickup dates right yeah so where does all start it like how you just woke up saying i'm gonna be a film director you know uh it started in <laughs> school i was uh filming um these fights in high school and you know my teacher he had my sister told me to take this film class and she was like you know i think you should i was like why she was like you just try it out so i tried it out and my teacher was like yo i was gonna quit because i didn't like the books like i didn't like to do like to read the big ass books and edit mm. and back then it was old school i was like yo I don't have time for this. He was like, wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, let me just give you the camera and do your thing. Right. And um, so I took the camera and during lunch in my school was ghetto. I mean, we called, they called us uh, African Village. Like, I mean, it was African at lunch. Village? It was riots. Like, like left and right riots. So, Nobody got time. Yeah. But, I'm you know. Stuff like that. Don't be scared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I would take the camera and be in the middle of the riot. Oh, and, my. And, so you filming yeah, real fights. I'm filming real riots. You know, it was going down. They, Are you serious? I, yeah. It they was like, crazy. They be hearing you. Like, look, dog, we need you to capture this. Like, Capture it. Yeah. We, so, 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 going so the in. next day, I show them the cuts. <laughs> and they are watching. It was like, oh, shit, this is dope. It was like, man, look how I knocked them out. I was like, yeah, you got them. And I dropped some music behind it. So it made it more intense. Oh, God. And I would edit it. And that's what made me, you know, inspired me to actually just stick with it is when, you know, they seen it and they had a whole edit of to the to the knockout so it was oh. like it was dope so from there i was like i think this is what i want to do did you ever sell like make dvds and stuff i did for a church because look i remember like back in the day like we used to buy like dvds of bras and fights and oh, like people on those? drugs no. on the side of the street and all no, kind of crazy stuff but it was I interesting it was interesting i didn't go that far i just i created a business outside of that with church just filming church and doing dvds more professional yeah more professional stuff. i took it professional yeah. yeah and then i met nick cannon he became my uh mentor and he really took me from like high school to like yo let me show you the industry ah dope and then from there was a wrap it's been a wrap that's right so how long have you um been like doing the films um since i was 16 so what like when like your first mo- like your first real movie movie where you behind, oh that's where it. you feel run like nixon but, but, but not the scary movie run nixon that was the first official feature film okay and that was uh 2018 it started we filmed in 2020 2021 yeah, 21, 22. And that was a mission. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Dope. It ain't easy. I mean, I could, I could imagine. I could imagine. Yeah. So, is there anything out there that you would like the people to know about you that they may not know? Um, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know what's Like, do you act at all? Like, act? No, 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 I don't act. I say, I say. Look, somebody's shaking their head. Yeah, no, 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 like, no. Because he, because he's referencing probably Jocelyn. You reference Jocelyn? Yeah. Okay. So we worked with Jocelyn Hernandez, who, uh, uh, she had a TV show with um, Zeus Network. They came right. to work strip club and they filmed. And I had to be the, the host to be the person that sold her, sold her to the strip club as a, as a realtor. And she was like, oh, you can really act. I don't. You really got it. Yeah. So, I mean. I mean, you know, you got to know in front of the cameras and behind the cameras. And right. if, even us doing this podcast, like as a director, I have to be, you know, versatile. I got to, you know, I got to I gotta expand my horizon with just knowing, like, I got to do marketing, branding, mm-hmm. directing, producing, editing, you know what I'm saying? Very, you know, hands on on my life. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, he calls me Sky Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Sky Kanye Yeezy. West when it comes down to it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's got Yeezy. So, you know, it's, 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 you know, I think the world needs to know, like, I'm here to just to fucking do what I got to do. I'm a vessel. God gave me a gift and, and I'm taking advantage of that opportunity and, and really just about to just break the industry. I mean, not only the world really needs to know, not only am I a director, I'm also a tech founder. Mm-hmm. I developed this app that's coming out. It's a casting app that's, that's dropping uh, in the next two months. Nice. Yeah. So, 
you know, you know, it's it's all coming. Big moves. Big moves. Big moves. You know what I'm saying? So you know, definitely when you come back down to the air again, we d- we need to reconnect and talk about more projects that you have going. Yeah. yeah. I think by time, when you think that is like, when? I don't know. You you don't visit that often, and then you don't put us way in 2012 and yeah, stuff sure, like sure, stop sure. it. Yeah, that's not. Uh, we're not that slow. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, you're just saying as far as like the laws and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything behind with the laws. I, okay. I just found out. So, but yeah, nah. When, when we come back, yeah, we gotta lay lay down some new grounds. Yeah, it's going up. I think uh, Georgia is very beautiful though. There's a lot of beautiful people out here, and hopefully, it works out where it makes sense. Right, right. So, like, I know this may be like a crazy question, but when I think of LA, I think of like the rough side, like. What the you mean, L- like? Oh, okay. You like, talking about Crenshaw? <laughs> You probably don't even involve, You probably don't even I grew up in South Central For real? Yeah every day Like what's the craziest thing You ever like witnessed in LA? Um You ever had some scare moments? Like I mean I mean <laughs> Growing up in South Central At my age Yeah it was a lot of It was Actually it was It was ghetto But it was I, I, I was used to it So it was like For someone that's not used to it They'd probably be scared But yeah. for me Seeing stuff every day Wasn't that bad mm-hmm. I mean it was bad yeah, but I was used to. It. You was used I was to numb. seeing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I think I've been numb to a lot of shit. This is why I, was, I know how to stay focused mm-hmm. and keep a lot of negative energy out of my head because I've been used to a lot of bullshit. Yeah, know? for real. So I know how to block it out. Okay. Yeah. 